from life. Okay, let's see. What was I working on a second ago? I'd turn it off. Let's see. Is there? Can I tag? There we go. Hold on. Uh, how do I do that? I'm going to invite a couple people before. I get started. They didn't let me invite people before that. So, let's see who's up. Let's see, it's probably late over in America and wherever everybody's living at. Here it's 9 40 in the morning in Japan. So, yeah, let's see, let's see how that goes. I don't know who got invited. I think I missed some people. I'm going to tag Annie because she, she, uh, has to be notified yesterday, so. Yeah, sorry, so I was planning on going around the same time as yesterday. I even said I would do that, but it's kind of hard to keep up with everything, make sure it's all right, especially since I don't have the means to make everything perfect, right? Anyway, I don't know when people will see this, but I'm live anyway. Um, working on pictures for Angelica Terry for book number one, Quercus Menorah and the Eight Elemental Stones, part one. So let's see. Wonder how the sound output is. I, I don't. We'll see. Um, I don't get any feedback from the computer telling me whether I I have sound or not. So I wonder. I th I think I have to check. Can you hear me? Right? Is it on? Yeah. We'll find out. Who knows? No one's watching right now. So we'll we'll see when someone is get some response. You have sound. Thank you, Dan. Okay. So I can't interact with the comments as well as I thought it would. Let, let, let me let's move, let, let me move this over if it'll let me. It won't let me. My computer will not let me move Facebook. That is stupid. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can move this instead. There. Uh, that's a tiny window. Okay. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, Dan Heiser, Matt Spritzer, join. I don't know who's actually still there, um, but anyone can come back and watch this later, so it doesn't really matter, right? Um, but thanks for being around, whoever is around, um, and whoever comes around later. Still here. All right, cool. I don't. I don't get any notification on who's actually still here based on what the what, what Facebook thinks anyway. But yeah, thanks for the notification. That's cool. Um, so welcome to my live stream. I am super up for comments. Anything. I just not really good at responding to them yet. <laughs> Mia Fairy Books. Thanks for joining. I. Uh, Better actually see you make it rather than just the picky post. Thanks. I um I've been thinking that yeah, it was probably more interactive and interesting to make make the videos uh, live stream so that anyone can interact with me while I work on this. It's just that sometimes um, I have so much other stuff I need to do with my with my daughter and everything that I can't always live stream. But I'm, I've uh, got everything set up now that I need. To make it uh, possible, I'm using a Wii U mic and um, microphone for the Wii U karaoke, and it's not as high quality as some other mics. But um, I didn't have that set up previously. But now I put it in a remote box. 
sound quality is not superb, but it's better than um, better than I thought it would be. So, so right now I'm working on um, sketching out all the mistakes, not mistakes, but um, out all the sketchy lines in the uh, cloth here. This is a piece of cloth that has seeing stones. Right here, this picture is um, Dylan Fertalen, one of the characters, looking into seeing stones, which allow you to understand what your ability in using magic, the elements of magic, um, are. And in the seeing stones, he sees a hawk's eye here, lightning, and wind. It, in the story, I have it written a little bit better, but the I probably need to actually re-illustrate these, these spheres a little bit because I, this is the original drawing and I've, it's got a little bit updated since then. But yeah, um, where are we at? Okay, that looks a little funky. Let's see. This cloth is uh, something that needs a lot of editing anyway. I'm having trouble standing because I realized I, I'm doing this on my standing desk now, but um, it seems like it's a little bit higher than it needs, uh, lower than it needs to be. So I, I'm like crouching, spreading my legs to stand correctly <laughs> and get the right position I need to be in. But uh, it's a lot better than my sitting position anyway. I'm usually sitting at a chair, um, a floor chair, right in front of a little coffee table, but this is a lot better um, on my back anyway, but it's still kind of tiring. Hey, Greg, thanks for joining. All right, thanks, Dan. Come, if you want to come back and see the uh, the video, it'll be posted later on um, well, it's probably already posted on my timeline. You can come see it whenever. I'm going to share it again later. Uh, thanks for joining. See you around. Thanks for the notification as well. Let's see. Oh. Yo, Greg. Danny, as it says, your name is there. Your name is Greg. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. So I'm, that's my brother. He's joined every live stream so far. It's really helpful. Um, let's see. Where are we at? So all these lines, um, they don't appear as, as I drew them on the pencil. They're thicker and they're not as pretty looking as, as I had planned them to be, and I don't need them. So I'm getting rid of the, the paper, the, the lines that are not supposed to be, not helping basically. There are lines like this here on the table that need to be redrawn a little bit because they're uh, too thin. But other than that, the, the lines that really just need to be gone are being gone as much as I can get them to go these little dots too. There's this little spot here that doesn't belong there. When you scan uh, a sketch into a computer, you get a lot of unnecessary little things that you never drew, uh, like little noise. I can show, here, let, let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna open the same picture uh, as a scan. Let's see where it was. Can I find it? Um, let's see, 88. Image number 88. No, that's not it. That's the other one. Uh, that's from book part two. Let's see. Number 88. Oh, okay. No, it's not number 88. Let's see, number 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Probably this one. We'll find out. 
when I did the scans, I did them on two different days. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like if, if I scan it with my scanned in uh, sketch, pencil sketch. And then what I did originally to make that workable is I, I put it on threshold, use the threshold tool. And what happens is um, it either gets not enough black or it gets way too much black. And that's how, that's, uh, there's uh, several tools that I've been able to use that make it a little better, but there's things that just, lines that I had already erased with my uh, eraser that shouldn't be visible, but are still kind of visible. And there's lines that just don't need to be there anyway. But yeah, that's what it looks like before I thresholded that. Um, and that's way, way back when. Um, months ago but there we go too much color variation here Let's see all right I'm gonna use a paintbrush instead of the airbrush here so that I get a little bit darker and uh, not darker a little heavier of a brush uh, airbrush again works so I, I don't know if anyone's seen the, the first YouTube I made. It's way back when um, I did. Hey, Gloria Lindermans, thank you for joining. I don't know if you stick around, but if you do, that would be cool. If you're busy, that's fine too. Um, so I don't actually know. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people who it's listed as have joined might be just scrolling past this on their smartphones, but yeah, we'll find out. Um, right now, uh, yeah, so I, I did a, a, a YouTube video a few months ago of me working on a picture that's actually in part two of the book, but that's um, way before I learned how to actually use this tool the way I wanted to use it, and I hadn't any idea about lots of different concepts that I need to understand a lot more. And that was just a few months ago, but I've, I've learned a lot since then. And I still need to learn a lot more. But let's see. Almost done with this spotty stuff. It doesn't look like it belongs there. I'm trying to, last time I was tabbing in and tabbing out, checking how many people are watching and stuff like that. I'm going to avoid doing that this time just look hey Cameron Latchford welcome you're you're here I'm uh, working on illustrations for my book I don't think I've told you about that yet but um, I'm working on a book hey what's up I'm uh, using GIMP to uh, edit this picture that I've been working on illustration for The Great Adventures of Angelica Cherryfer, which is the book series I'm working on right now. I have, uh, it's my first book that I'm not done with yet, but um, I'm going to be releasing it hopefully in April. I say hopefully because, uh, well, the thing is I've, I've got a draft ready um, that some people can read on the test group. But I can, I've already checked a few times, even have had the computer read it to me. I've read it to my daughter. Um, I've seen several different parts of it that just need editing. There's typos, grammatical errors, stuff like that. But yeah, I need, if I can get everything all set up and I can get my IS, ISBN numbers in time um, and I can get my proof copy up by when I need it, I can, uh, hopefully shoot for April for publishing this. I have, that's my um, imposed deadline anyway. So I really hope that I make it. <laughs> um, there we go. That seems a little strange. The shadows on the cloth here. It's not perfect. Never will be perfect. So um, let's see, there we go. Um, 
some of the roundness for the circle bear his claw came off near his claw. Okay, I was like, bear his claw. Um, uh, this one, yeah, thank you. Let's try to draw that back in. Maybe that's better. We'll find out. This uh, eye needs work. see what happens. Um, let's see. So I'm going around in here, um, trying to make his eye look cool. <laughs> it didn't look very good. So I'm one problem, I mentioned this last last live stream, but one problem is that um, before I, I had the line art all messed up and funky and uneditable, basically. I'm, now I'm painting over the line art, do what I need to, and um, getting rid of what's not supposed to be there. I was, I had my reservations about painting over stuff for a while. I didn't want to do it if I didn't have to, but it obviously seems better to do so. so I might go with a different brush. Um, yeah, I'll go with a different brush for now. Let's see. That's if anyone could hear that tapping sound, that's me hitting my keyboard several times to get the, the size of the brush a little bit better. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if it looks better or not. I'll find out. Let's see what does it does. It looks, oh, yeah, it looks better. Okay. <laughs> Like an eye, thank you. Um, God, it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's what I was going for, anyway. <laughs> this is a hawk. Um, basically, Dylan Furtalon is he's a Falco S squirrel, which is a squirrel who has the ability to transform into a hawk. Um, he comes from the village of Oak Feather, and he's the chieftain of the village. Though right now he's he's on a he's on the adventure with Angelica around the world. Angelica Cherryfur has been charged with the quest of taking a full journey around her world, uh, uh, Lucarius, because that is what is required of all of the heirs of the throne who want to, to assume the right as queen or king of the of the kingdom of Agrifolia. So where they are right now is um, in this part of the story, chapter four, is they, they, they've uh, had their magic abilities awakened by touching an artifact in Carmen Pox, which is a ancient city in the desert um, and Dilika Cherry for and Dylan are both completely new to the idea of magic they didn't know about it before this chapter so now that they're this far in the story um, Angelica is training with other magi having tests and stuff and she has the ability to use every element in the uh, spectrum of elements, which is completely unique to her because there aren't any other people who, at least as far as anyone knows, who 
can use all of the elements. Um, Dylan, he can use, well, if you can see this, he can use three elements. All of these other dull, opaque spheres, they mean that if you look into the elements, you see an image of what, what you're able to use, but these ones, because he's not able to use them at all, and will never be able to use them, they show up as dull spheres that have a blank color, uh, not blank, a, a dull kind of boring color. This one is a, it's a, it's a picture of, uh, of the falcon that he is able to turn into basically. Um, it's depicted as a falcon who, in the story, it's depicted as a falcon who uh, is bowing down to a squirrel. Um, the kind of falcon that Dylan can turn into is a, is a honey buzzard, which is the only bee in our world that can stand up, and not the only bee, the only falcon and animal in our world which can stand up to hornets. Um, so the crested honey buzzard, uh, not a, a Japanese bird, at least there's, there's different versions of the bird in the world, but in, in our world, there's a, a Japanese bird which fights against giant Asian hornets and eats them like popcorn. So I thought it would be a pretty cool um, hawk to choose for Dylan's hawk. See, there's a, there's a chap, part of chapter two where he actually fights against some beasts and pecks them aside. That'll be cool to see when it's out in a book. I like that. But yeah, um, so let's see uh, what I have right now. I'm trying to fix his face, the hawk's face up. I don't know. I'm not looking at any references right now, but um, I hope it looks good. I'm going to be casting light on, on this sphere anyway in the end, so it's going to look a little different. Um, but yeah. Thank you. When something doesn't seem good, Greg, Greg is always sure to let me know. So <laughs> when he says it looks good, I feel a little better. Um, well, yeah, let's see, pretty soon I'm going to have to forget about making it perfect, let's see, um, his beak could get a little bit more color variation. Put a little bit more orange in there, put a little bit more yellow in there lighter yellow. Put a little bit of dark colors inside of, darker and not black colors inside of here. All right, let's see. This should be gray. I'll take a blue gray. little spot here and it should be a little, little lighter because the lower inside part of his beak is a little lighter than the, than the tip of it. Um, but yeah. Okay. Here's the falcon. This uh, picture of a bolt of lightning is not what's depicted in the book so I'm going to change this. I have a good idea. I did this before, but um, no. Why am I choosing circle and then hitting the button on my keyboard for rectangle? No. Uh, there we go. I'm going to make it so that only this area is editable. So I don't make any stupid mistakes while I work on this. No. 
not letting me pan. Okay, there we go. Drag, not pan, drag. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get rid of the image here. No, I don't need to grab that. But I want to draw. I had this idea that matches the picture in the book. Um, have to see if I can organically come up with the picture that I want to draw. I haven't actually drawn this picture yet, so we'll see, we'll see if it looks how I want it to look. We'll, we'll see. When, once it starts kind of looking like what I want it to look like, I'm going to ask if it looks like that, and then you, someone can tell me. <laughs> but uh, let's see. If anyone's read the uh, the document, the PDF version of this, they might know what I'm actually trying to draw right now. But who knows? Um, now everyone can see me trying to pin out a, a simple sketch and make it not look simple. So that's kind of funny. I might actually want to draw that out with lines first, but let's let's, let's see. Um, no, I don't want it pointing that way. Actually, that's not good. Yeah, I'm going to go with just painting this in instead of sketching it out. Um, and then I'll put a couple lines in in the end to make it feel more put into the real world, I guess, if you want to say it that way. Hi, Mom. Thanks for joining. So uh, here I'm I'm working on Dylan Furtalon, his, uh, his vision in the elements, in elemental seeing stones. In the original version of this uh, of the draft, I called them the stones of elemental discernment. So that's they they got a little bit of a name change, but elemental seeing stones was easier to type lots of times, and it was probably easier to read. But yeah, the stones of elemental discernment seems like a, a word that would become redundant after being used several times. Um, <laughs> but yeah, who knows. Maybe I should have stuck with that. So let's see. But no. uh, where, where are we at? What are we doing? What am I doing? Okay. No, that needs to be dark. I don't like to use the darker tone so much, but I can't really see it until I paint it in dark. Now it's dark enough that I can see it when I paint it in, so I can light it up a little bit. Uh, no. Let's see what we have. So it's 
cool. I can see the comments while I work on this with my big monitor. Thank you, Dad. Um, couldn't do this without all the help, support I get. Um, You're gonna switch to your iPod. That's cool. See when you switch. <laughs> this is the elemental stone of light. The elemental discernment stone of lightning. This is what Dylan saw when he looked into it. At least I'm trying to illustrate that. What I first said a second ago was a lightning bolt. This is a little different. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to switch brushes now. It's a little hard to, to brush and things on such a tiny ball. It's so small. It probably won't even look like much when I'm done with it, but at least it'll be what I'm supposed to draw. Instead of what was there. These are all tiny pixels, so it's, been, it's really hard to get it the way I want it to with tiny pixels. But, oh well, that's too bad, huh? Yeah, this will be fun. I'm trying to make my own, my picture with single pixels. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Yeah, when I have it on airbrush and I try to do it on something this small, it doesn't actually change anything with the color, so that's not good. But if I put it up to paintbrush, then at least it has a, some recognition of my strokes. It'll be fun. No? You're not doing that, huh? I might not even have space to put lines in there. Oh well, I'll put lines for his, his whiskers. Something's not that good with that. That's not a line, that's an orange. No. Um, why is that? Why is this pixel refusing? Okay, there we go. Pixel by pixel, huh? Too small. That doesn't look good. Um, I might just forget about making it look perfect uh, again. Yeah, I'll, it's supposed to have three whiskers on each side, but um, it's not letting me do that, so I'm going to do two there. Um, oh, guessing game, I guess. Who, who knows what this is, huh? <laughs> Uh, not very well done yet, but hmm. Chris, welcome. Thanks for joining. I'm going to not say your last name because I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for joining. Third live stream now. My fourth video of me working in total, but live, yeah. It's all good, huh? Let's see. No. Too red. Um, okay. 
Okay. Cool. I want, I'm wondering how it's sounding. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Um, for me, I'm doing exactly the same thing as I'm always doing, except for right now I'm standing, which is much better for my back. Although that's also tiring on my back in the end. But yeah. Um, I, for anyone who hasn't heard this yet, I've uh, switched over to working on a book from, from um, the job that I was doing before because I have spondylolisthesis and my back isn't letting me work as much as I wanted to uh, with the other work. And I was eventually hoping to be in a children's book or illustrator anyway, or some kind of illustrator. Um, so it just kind of came as the right time to give up on doing what I'm not good at and try to do something that I can probably do. But we'll see. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Okay, so he's um, probably getting pretty clear what he's doing here anyway. Um, I don't know. It looks clearer than it was earlier. Anyway. To me. <laughs> okay, so because I'm being a little too vague and silly, I'm going to go ahead and say what he's doing here in this picture. Um, Dylan's, yeah, Dylan's magic uh, ability for using, well, I don't know, magic ability, but what is it? His, his ability for using the, the magic element of lightning uh, basically depicts him as moving across uh, space well, I don't know about outer space, but some, some kind of space as if he were a lightning bolt, pretty much. So he's a, that's basically um, the very highest level of magic that he could obtain if he trained in, uh, in lightning magic over the years. It's not a representation of what he can do right off the bat but rather um, what he'll be able to do. Okay, that, yeah, I fogged in some places to make it look cooler. Um, it still looks visible though, visible enough. Not very visible when it's small. So I, I, I might actually want to uh, increase the size. No, not that size. <laughs> increase, let's see, cut. Paste. No, it's not going to let me do it. Never mind. No, no cutting and pasting. No increasing size. Whatever. I'll, I'll increase the size of that and then fog it in a little bit more. Because it's just too small. But yeah, I like how it looks anyway. Ugh. Tap into the wrong thing. Um. Let's see how that is. Okay. Thanks. Really cool. That's good. Um, Better representation of what he's doing than what was there. Yeah, that's not that doesn't look like Dylan, does it? Right. So, uh, um, now I have a problem that the uh, the sphere kind of looks strange on the there's a black part here, but oh well, it probably doesn't ma matter because um, when it's big and zoomed out. You're not going to be able to see all of that detail as much anyway. But this little spot here, 
I'm going to be reworking this wind. Um, yeah, that's not good. There's, uh, the scan gave me too speckly of a, of a line, even though I didn't draw it that speckly, as far as I know. Um, but I'm going to go in with the grab selecting tool again, try to select it as a circle, and work on that. All of this was pencil sketched in the beginning and scanned in, and I tried to work on it from there. But some of the some of the pencil sketching looks more sketchy than it does on paper because I oh, it's not working. <laughs> it looks more sketchy than it did on paper because in the end, um, let's see. No, it's not doing it right. Um, looks more sketchy than it did on paper because I erased some things with erasers and stuff and it looks much nicer on the paper but um, anything that was erased when it was scanned is still kind of there and anything blemishes little oil from my hand anything that shows up the folds in the paper all that gets scanned in so um, it's it was really hard to reproduce the sketches um, as they look on the paper on the computer but yeah um nagasawa-san konnichiwa <laughs> let's see what do we have we'll go to english um there we go I'll, I'm going to use that grass tool that I talked about yesterday. And then I'm going to mud that out a little bit. Because um, that looks too bold. Um, and then I'm going to take some of the blue here and scratch it in. Okay. Um, so that this is the wind element. And basically... What it says is happening with the wind element in the book is um, wind is going into the sky and with an updraft. I have to kind of think of how, how that's going to look. I don't know. Um, what I had was just a bunch of green wind, and that doesn't really look like what I wanted to do. Um, Let's see, can we do it? Um, there we go. This one. Now, now it's starting to look more like a tornado again. Uh, Angelica's one looks like a tornado, so I don't want to have it be the same. Too samey is silly. My lines going up, not down. I just accidentally went down. But, um. There's some debris going on with the wind. Maybe too much. Too much debris. No, too much again. Who knows? See, I don't know. Yeah, zoom in too much. Okay, I don't want to stay on the same picture for years, so um, pretty soon I'm going to have to give up on perfecting it, but I still have a couple things I want to do with my you know, so, um, The grass is going to be more. Uh, let's see, I'm using bristle brush. I love the bristle brush. There's a, a few different bristle brushes, but the smallest bristle brush here, um, bristles one, gives me 
just a few little um, dots together that I can use for things like grass and hair and stuff. Um, is my phone on manual? Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, let's see. Turn on. Okay, sounded on on that. That's good. It's now if I'm contacted, I can hear. So that's good. Um, a little blue in the grass. A little more green in the grass. A little more dark in the grass. It'll be darker in the end anyway. So I'm, I'm going to no. That's way too dark. Why isn't it getting that dark one? I think. There we go. And then I'll put a little bit of light in there. That's going to change anyway. So uh, not much point in perfecting it. This table now. I'm going to work on the table a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to normalize the color and then um, do something else with it. Because if if I try to paint over every single piece of, of table here, it's gonna end up taking forever, um, way too long. It's probably a good idea to do that, but I have other pictures that I need to work on, and I can't I can't make sure that all of the black stays and that all of the color gets normalized and everything is perfect. So I'm just going to do it the best I can. Um, uh, and colors too too similar. Let's see. Here and there. This is easier when I have things separated um, in color areas. I don't know what to call it, um, but because now it's all already painted, um, painting over it, I can accidentally paint over too much. There's I can use the selection editor to to fix that problem a little bit, but um, let's see, I just painted over that entire area here. This one. Zooming in helps too. Yeah. Anyway, there's this black spot here on his hand that uh, re reaches into The hand from the desk, which shouldn't be there. Um, it was erased, but it still got scanned in. So there's an example of scan in failures. Oh well. Um, let's see. That's too white. It got so white trying to get rid of all that little. Pitch black there, but uh, let's see. Uh, I hope this time when the video saves for the live stream, it'll it won't have video problems like the first one did. The second one did pretty well. Um, Anyone who comes to this video later, um, just like I mentioned in the last video, all of the the first 36 uh, puzzles are available for this. Uh, the illustrations they're available as puzzles. I'm going to make more. Um, I still don't have a way to get paid for that setup. So uh, even if someone orders it, the payment will probably log back, get a backlog, and eventually come to me if I get some kind of thing set up. Or, um, but how it is, is, uh, anyone can order 
puzzle versions of the illustrations from right now it's from 30 from what from illustration one to 36 i don't know how the visibility is on my account so i have to i have to check that later but um at least i've made them as puzzles at, on zazzle and that you can find a link for that on my profile um but these are all not i didn't create these to be puzzles but they they're available as puzzles and i'm going to make a other formats for them as well so that people can get a hold of these illustrations in whatever format they want to hopefully um, as prints or whatever but um, it's gonna take a while to get all that set up I want to get more than all, all I want to get all of them set up but right now yeah, I only have 36 up this hand won't look perfect but it's a uh, it's better now. Uh, the desk is too dark. It's supposed to be dark, but not this dark. Okay, so, so if anyone is coming to this and, and thinking, um, I wonder how much illustrations cost it to be to commission. Well, I haven't any idea how much I charge because I haven't charged anyone yet. But um, if I was doing this for money from a from a client and I wanted to actually get the um, recognition that I uh, not recognition the compensation for my work, um, I would want to at least get the at least get an hourly wage um, for what I did. Uh, usually, most illustrators get a lot a lot more than that um, because there's it's not just a wage based on what you're doing right now. It's based on all of your experience and everything. I don't have that much experience yet, but um, there's a lot of things factoring into payment, but um. If you look at all this stuff that's going into um, one picture, this is just, this is after editing of, of work that I did before on this picture. And this is just one of the pictures. People are, people, I've seen people ask for books, like, um, I don't know, a few hundred dollars a book or something. It's like, if you want me to spend a, a couple afternoons on uh, making sketches for your book then we could charge we could talk about that price right a few hundred dollars um it's just something that's been coming up in communities every time I'm, I'm, groups that i'm looking at anyway a lot we wanted someone to, to put their time and effort into some, making something good um at least as good as, as what i'm doing right now if not better then uh you're asking for a big investment in time and, and energy. So, so a few hundred dollars is ridiculous anyway. Um, I don't know how much this book is going to be worth in the long run in terms of money, but, but for me, the uh, emotional worth is a lot more than a few hundred dollars anyway. Um, 